Gabby is collecting samples and analyzing samples of soil communities associated with native maple trees and invasive maple trees. Despite there being a lot of research on what plants are invasive and how much damage they cause in the area, not very much is known about what causes the plant to be invasive, especially not below ground interactions such as fungal communities. She's working on a, a metagenomic project, which basically is just a project using uh, very high-tech sequencing machinery that helps us understand uh, the genetic codes of everything we get from a particular particular biological sample. So right now we're in the identifying stage of finding out who's in the soil samples, what fungal communities are there. Um, what we will do then is analyze and compare those communities in a program called CHIME, that's a microbiology program, and it will help us know what species are present in what abundances relative to the other locations. So we can sort out based on invasiveness or introduction status. Once we find that out, we can start the phase two pilot program, which is um, transplanting maples from one site to another to see how they do. By doing so, the hope is that we can see some sort of uh, systematic difference there uh, that the communities of uh, fungi associated with these different kinds of species, native and invasive, uh, differ and we'll be able to sort that out as to uh, possibly whether um, certain soil organisms are present in a community helping invasive species or perhaps absent from a community and not hurting invasive species. This is just a pilot program so what we'll be doing is a field transplantation study later on and that will have more of a practical value. Um, we'll be able to say for sure if it's the plants inf influencing the fungal communities or the fungal communities influencing the plants and this sort of um, information will be really useful in invasive control technologies and techniques. She's probably more the expert on what she's doing this summer than I am. Research happens differently at a small undergraduate institution um, than the large research uh, institutions where, where faculty are, are, are emerging from usually. Here at Juniata, it, it is a norm, I think, for students involved in research with a faculty member for them to appear on publications because they have done the research and the analysis and the writing uh, and been involved in the creative process as well as the in and out mundane processes involved in, um, involved in producing that work.